Hi everybody, I am Meg from MegFort.com. In these videos, I'm gonna get real basic with terminology because I want nursing students to watch these videos as well and I want them to understand. This video is how to take a manual blood pressure. All right, let's get started with the parts of the sphygmomanometer, which is the BP machine. First, you have the cuff that you wrap around the patient. Then you have the dial with the numbers there to the right, the bulb that you pump, and then the air valve that you release. How to take a manual blood pressure. First, have your patient sitting or uh, sitting up in the bed. Have them rest their arm down. Start with a cuff that is the appropriate size for their upper arm. Wrap the cuff around their upper arm with the cuff's lower edge about one inch above the antecubital fossa, which is where the elbow bends. After you make sure that it's in the appropriate position and it's not upside down, the bulb and the tubes should be facing down towards their wrist. Lightly press the stethoscope's bell over the brachial artery, which is going to be right below the cuff's edge if you placed it properly. Rapidly inflate the cuff to about 180 millimeters of mercury or higher, and then start to release the air from the air valve really slowly at about 3 millimeters per second. Listen with the stethoscope and spontaneously observe the dial. Now the first little knocking sound is going to be the systolic pressure, the top number. When the knocking sound disappears, this is the diastolic pressure, the lower number. If the patient's blood pressure is super elevated, above 150 over 100, it definitely requires some attention or some medication. If the blood pressure is extremely low or extremely high, or the patient was moving too much, be sure to take it again on the opposite side just to confirm your results. Please subscribe to my channel for more nursing content and I'm going to put links below to my nursing blog where you can read all sorts of resources. Thanks for watching.